This is your boy Sequoia. Shout out to 301. Shout out PG County. Shout out Mercy F. Colonial Vertical Farming. Shout out to DMV. That's DC Middle Virginia. First off, I want to start off with my arm. This shit hurt like hell. That's what I want to start off with number one. Okay, my arm hurts, bro. Um, I'm in the blue collar trade. You know what I'm saying? I got my arm burnt. Damn near burnt off like yesterday. I'm still out here making posts. Anyway, now that we got that out the way, I want to talk about one of my songs, Black Girl Magic. And, um, it's one of my most popular songs. I want to talk about why this song is popular. Um, so, the reason this song is so popular is one, is it a good song? Okay. So, real quick, let me see. I'm going to pull it up and we'll go straight to the hook. Black girl magic, hey baby, you and your element. Black girl magic, hey baby, I love your melanin. Black girl magic, hey baby, you and your element. Black girl magic, hey baby, I love your melanin. Alright, boom. So, I wrote this song like two years ago or something. I don't remember. But. The other reason that that song has done numbers is because I ran promo on it, okay? And people are liking it and commenting and saying, hey, where can I find this song? This song is dope. This artist is dope. I like what he's saying. The other thing is not only is it a good hook, right? Black girl magic, hey, baby, I love your melanin. Black, Black girl magic, hey, baby, you and your element. Not only is the hook easy to follow, it's good. I'm saying some in my verses, too. Excuse my camera angle also. I'm just moving it around. Um, but what I'm saying in my verses is good too, right? And then all of this is based on like me and a young lady that I actually um, was pursuing at the time that I was writing this, and I played the song for her too. You know, she liked it. Me and this young lady, um, we we didn't work out. You know what I mean? For one reason or another. Um, but that's a whole nother story. Um, but yeah, I got substance inside the song, and it's based off my real life. So. Um, I'm not gonna do a whole lyric breakdown, but I'm gonna give y'all a little bit of the verses, like, um, the verse, the, the, the first verse, right? It's like, hey, look, little baby, man, your ex-man whack, but I promise you I'm real and I'm ready for that. She want like 15 kids, we should practice for that. I'll be the teacher, you the student, you the only one in class, it be the best you ever had. She want to love that really last. So I'm gonna just right there, okay? That right there, you know what I'm saying, that's giving you some real, like, real life, you know, lyrics. Like, yeah, X-Men whack. I'm real, I'm ready for that. You want, like, 15 kids, you should practice for that. That's like a little, you know, a little joke. A little tease, you know what I mean? Artfully. Um, but, you know, aside from that, um, why did that song do numbers? Um, I think a lot of times, this is my opinion, and it's my experience, but I think a lot of times the females support guys more than dudes support other dudes, or guys support other guys. Like, when you try to make music, and it's like, guys, you know what I'm saying? Like, it be a lot of hate, hating going on. In my experience, I noticed a lot of guys, um, they be dropping comments, like, yo, you whack, yo, ah, 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 whatever. And then girls be, like, more open to listen. I mean, and this is very much like a feminine song. But for all my followers that are guys that follow me, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to y'all. Shout out to my fan base. There are there are guys, you know what I'm saying, that, you know, show, show love, um, show support. Um, I got a few people in, like, Ohio be showing crazy love. Baltimore, uh, Connecticut, you know what I'm saying? And New Mexico, um, Canada, you know what I mean? Showing crazy, crazy love for me. Um... But yeah, I would say overall, just a lot of trolls online, you know what I'm saying? Be a lot of like young dudes is what I noticed when you run ads or you put music out, dudes is quick to like make jokes about the track or be like your music's whack or the video's whack or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Um, But in terms of, you know, this song is the best, has done, done the best so far. Part of it is promotion, the other part is a good song, it got substance to it, and it got longevity as well. Um, you know, I try to think about that when I make my music. Obviously, not all of it is going to have, um, longevity, you know what I mean? But I always try to make the best music I can. Um, so, what I did specifically for this track, I didn't have no waterfall strategy, nothing like that. I put the track out, um, you know what I'm saying? And I just threw money at it, basically, through Facebook. And I shot a video with me and, me and my boy, and it's, it's just me. I just had my boy hold the camera, and he shot me on the beach. When uh when we did the video, and I'm pretty sure that's the only one of the only um ads that we ran that was successful. It was other videos where I had girls in the videos or um me just rapping like behind the mic, but for whatever reason, people like doing it the beach the best, and um 
you know, we've been working to shoot a better video for it, a more high quality video. Um, but we, we looking to get, you know what I'm saying? Black girl magic in the video, you know, get multiple girls and whatnot. So we may or may not do that, but, um, ain't no pressure if we do, if we don't, you know, all in due time. But yeah, I just want to talk about that. So that's how I did it. That's how I got mine. If you have specific questions, let me know or comments. Let me know. I'm going to respond to them for sure. Um, you know what I'm saying? But the process, I got about 7,000 streams and I definitely spent about $10,000 at least. You know what I mean? I did gain some followers, uh, from, from this song and, um, you know, Yeah, that's pretty much it, man. We out.